Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, to this week we are doing some chocolate chip cookies and what we're gonna do, um, I gotta say this recipe is fantastic for chocolate chip cookies. Uh, uh, so they're like vanilla pudding chocolate chip cookies. But uh, let me run down some stuff here uh, before I get started, okay? Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Hit that subscription button if you're in here uh, looking at this video, I mean a lot. I appreciate that. Okay, um, on with this. Uh, so we got some all-purpose flour here, about two and a half cups. We have uh, about three quarters of a cup of uh, light brown sugar. Uh, we have some uh, regular granulated sugar here. Uh, we have some vanilla, some baking soda, and we have this vanilla instant pudding. I know what you're saying. Give it a shot. See what you think. I love these cookies. I think they're fantastic. Uh, we have some Ghirardelli uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, two eggs, uh, some Nutella over here, and two sticks of salted butter. Uh, some people put a pinch of salt in their flour. I don't do that. I just use salted butter. That takes up the salt. Okay. So uh, this is what we got. So we're going to start our cookie recipe uh, right now. We're going to clear some of this off and we're going to get mixing some stuff up we'll be right back with you guys okay so here we go um very simple uh this is a very simple recipe i know i say it in all my videos and sometimes i run a little bit late uh it is a very simple recipe and hopefully it won't be too long so we have the all-purpose flour and we have the baking soda the only thing we're going to do with this is we are just going to we're just going to dump this in and what we're going to do is we're just going to whisk this and we're going to set this aside okay so all we're doing is just incorporating it and that's it for this step right okay good enough just like that okay we're going to set this bowl aside we're going to bring in another bowl just like that and we're going to start adding our other ingredients okay so we are going to start with the butter this is room temperature by the way uh, it has to be softened for this recipe okay so there's one stick of butter we're going to put the other stick of butter in as well looks like that okay and we're going to follow that by actually we're going to follow that by both sugars that's the regular sugar and now we're going to put in the brown sugar just like that okay next thing to go in is going to be our pudding mix so i got this recipe a long time ago uh, from a friend of mine and i remember saying uh, to her that pudding in a mix are you kidding me right because i mean it seems pretty weird i think i don't know for me it does at least um and she says yeah you got to try these cookies uh they, they were made uh they were brought over and i absolutely love these cookies okay so that's why i uh, go to this these are my go-to cookies okay so we're just gonna add in the eggs next okay you can do them one at a time crack them both at the same time just like that so a lot of times like you're wondering why i'm cracking it into a bowl it's just because you know if there was any shells or anything in there that's the only reason why but you could do it over the bowl if that's what you choose to do that's fine um so we're we, we added the the um the vanilla okay and again i'll put all this down in the description you don't have to worry about it if i'm not running through it right now okay so in here is the butter we have the, the both sugars are in here, the pudding mix, uh, the vanilla, and the eggs. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mix this. This is going to be the base for our, well, part of the base, I guess, for our cookies. So we're just going to mix this around, make sure it's all nice and incorporated. And then we can start adding our dry ingredients to this. Um, Oh, uh, and just so you guys know, uh, oven is preheating right now to 375. So these cookies usually take anywhere. Uh, I guess it depends on your, I guess it really does depend on your oven. Uh, but somewhere, so, you know, plan on around eight minutes, you know, to do this. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to be right back with you guys and we're going to dump the flour in and we're going to make this cookie batter and dump the chocolate chips in. So hang in there with me and we'll be right back. So now that we've got all that mixed in well, um, this is, it's, it's going to look very, just so you guys can see, it's going to look very, very yellow, very buttery. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. Just make sure you keep mixing this, um, you know, so all the sugar is pretty much dissolved. Okay. So next we're going to add in, just do this in like little sections. We'll add a little bit of flour, go easy with it. So you don't have, uh, your flour all over your kitchen, right? So just go a little bit easy with it until it starts to incorporate. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. And then we can just keep just keep adding it until it's all done. This like I said, this is a super simple recipe. We'll add this in thirds uh, until this is all incorporated. All right, and then we're going to add now, we're going to add the last third, okay? There we go. Put the last third in there, and the only thing that was in that bowl was the all-purpose flour and the baking soda. That's it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to let you go for just a second. I'm going to get this all mixed in, and uh, we'll start putting the cookies together. We'll start getting these in the oven. Okay. So we got the cookie dough all mixed up. The only thing, you can use your hand. I use my hand for this, so it's, you know, like making meatballs or something. That's that's all I did with it, just to kind of move it along a little better. So don't be afraid to get your hands involved there. You've seen me do that in other videos of mine. Okay, so now what we got is we have the, the Garadelli chocolate chips. And I do save... Now, the recipe does call for 12 ounces, okay? But what I do if I'm making cups, uh, maybe, you know, maybe sometimes I'll save just a little bit, right? Just for a little bit of garnish on the top. So now what I do is we just turn this in, just like this. Very simple. And I guarantee you guys are going to love these, these uh, chocolate chip cookies, no doubt in my mind. Because like I said, I was skeptical when I heard vanilla pudding and chocolate chip cookies. And they were like, yeah, you have to try these. So I've been making my chocolate chip cookies like this for a very long time. All right. So I guarantee you guys, you guys will absolutely love these. Okay. So that's it. That's our cookie dough. Now you can eat it just like this. You know, grab a spoon, hit the couch, right? You can do whatever. There's your chocolate chip uh, cookie dough. All right, so we're going to get on to, uh, yeah, you know, we're going to get on to the next step, and we're going to start laying these out, okay? All right, hang in there. We'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so now I am going to get on to putting these cookies on a cookie sheet. So I'm going to bring my cookie sheet in, and I've had this cookie sheet forever. I, I bake everything on it. And it works very, very well for me, okay? I'm also going to be using a small scoop, okay? Um, this scoop is is um, about six, about, eh, it's about 6.6 .6 ounces. Uh, so each cookie uh, that I do is usually about, I don't know, 12 to 13, uh, point 13 um, ounces. Okay. So I just take it and, you know, it's like any other, you know, any other cookie you would make, they don't have to be perfect. They just have to, you know, so that, that's kind of what I do. Now you might want to also leave some room for, um, you know, for some spreading, you know, cause these will, these will fan out a little bit in the oven as well. Uh, these go in for about, uh, I don't know, like eight, eight to nine minutes. Okay. 
And um, what we're going to do with these, once these are done, we're going to let these cool for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or something like that, roughly. Uh, just so they're still a little bit warm. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of uh, Nutella uh, in the middle of these. So all you chocolate junkies uh, out there, this is your recipe. Um, like I said in the beginning, too, you can make cookie cups out of this. You can put these in a, um, you know, like a muffin pan if you want to. And you can hollow out the insides uh, of each cup okay uh, I've made those before I do like them I do stuff them with peanut butter and Nutella and I'll tell you one thing if you guys make those like that um, you might go like chocolate overload uh, because it's extremely chocolatey um, so have a big glass of milk uh, standing by okay I'm gonna get done I'm gonna uh, continue with these make these Put these in the oven for, these are going to go in for about 9 minutes on 375. And when I get done baking all these, I'll show you the end result. And then we'll stuff them with a little bit of Nutella. And it's a great snack. Like I said, grab the milk and that's all you need. Uh, a TV for at night time and these, that's what you're looking for. All right, I'll be back with you guys in a little while after I get done baking some of these down. And we'll... Uh, We'll get out the Nutella. Okay, so our cookies are out of the oven. Uh, these cookies weigh in at about 1.3 ounces. And I got about, uh, I got like 32 cookies uh, out of that recipe. Um, I hope you guys make these. These, these really are fantastic cookies. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is, oh, I took them out of the oven. Obviously, they're sitting on cooling racks. Uh, I let them cool down uh, before I do some uh, Nutella. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make just like some cookie sandwiches. All right. Like this isn't good enough, right? Uh, we're going to just uh, do it a little bit more. We're going to go a little further with these. Okay. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put that behind me. Um, I'm going to work with, uh, I'm going to work with this, this batch, I guess. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have our Nutella. All of us Italians love this. No matter what, you can put it on anything. Uh, and in between a cookie uh, seems to be a, a great idea right now. So um, so you've seen me before, um, you know, uh, use a, a cookie scoop here or a melon ball or, you know, whatever you all have handy. Uh, because I wanted to try to keep the cookies uniformed. Okay, uh, I didn't want one cookie bigger than the other because when you when you put these together and you make a sandwich out of them, you don't want one cookie hanging, you know, over too much or another one shorter or whatever. And then this is this is the bottom. Okay, so we cooked them about like that. Now, if you like a crunchier cookie, cook them a little bit longer. I cooked these about ten minutes. Um, that seemed to work out for me on a dark uh, pan, too. Um, so this is how I cooked them. And they're still soft all the way around the edges. And the backing here gives it a little bit of stability when we turn around and we put the Nutella on them. Okay. So all we're going to do now, uh, pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to take... <laughs> we're just going to take some of, this, some of this Nutella. Okay, we're just dipping it in here. And we're just using this melon ball to, or cookie scoop, whatever you want to call it. And we're just taking the other one and we're just, we're just taking it just like this. And we're just pushing, we're just pushing down. So now you can see <laughs> we have ourselves a nice little sandwich, right? Nice little sandwich. So that is what we're going to do. Okay, uh, I'm just going to do a couple more of these here. And we're just going to take it again with our melon ball or, or cookie scoop. And we're just going to take it and we're just going to push it down. 
just like that. And that is going to be your sandwich. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more of these, and then I'm going to be back with you guys. And we're going to plate this up, and we're going to close this video. Hang in there. Um, that's all we got to do left is we just have to plate it. All right, okay. so it is time to plate these now. Um, you all know how I am from watching my videos. So here we go. Okay, so this is what it it looks like when it's stuffed. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do with these two cookies, because I don't think I've ever plated cookies before. After all the food that I've ever done, I, I really don't think I've ever plated cookies. So we're going to wing this. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take two of these cookies. Okay, and I'm going to just, I'm just going to cut them in half. Just like this. I mean, you know, you guys eat them whole. You don't have to cut them in half unless you don't want a whole cookie, right? Okay, I'm doing this just for plating purposes. Now I'm going to take these and I'm just going to take these. And I'm going to set these aside just like this. And hold on one second. Uh, just a heads up, these are very messy. So I wouldn't eat these like... I wouldn't eat these like on a living room couch or anything unless you have like maybe a wet paper towel handy because you're going to need to you're going to need to clean your hands okay and there's chocolate because of the semi-sweet uh Ghirardelli chips and then the Nutella in the middle well you know it just makes it what it is okay so we're going to grab a plate and I'm just going to turn around and do this like this Okay, and then we're going to take this. This is what it looks like now after they've been cut. So it's like a little little sandwich, right? Okay, so let's, let's try something like this maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I've never, never actually plated cookies before. This is the first time. So, yeah, we'll do something like that. I guess it just all depends on on what you really what the mood is when you're plating. Uh, okay, so there we go. Uh, I'm gonna wipe my hands here real quick. Okay, so these are <laughs> my chocolate chip cookie chocolate chip cookies. Uh, that I got from a friend, a recipe that I got from a friend that I've been making these uh, for a very, very long time. These are my, these are definitely my go-to chocolate chip cookies. Um, so, again, uh, vanilla chocolate chip uh, cookie sandwiches uh, stuffed with maybe like Nutella. Okay. All right, guys, um, that is it for this particular recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, uh, you know, throw a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've uh, made it this far. Um, that would always be appreciated. Okay, I will see you in the next video next week. Everybody have a great week ahead. And um, I will see you guys soon. And enjoy these. Grab a glass of milk.